Alright, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be making just a little knife. Um, I found this from a pocket knife, a folding knife on the ground. I'm going to make just a stationary knife that you can hold in your hand and, I don't know, have a knife. But uh, I'm going to be making the handle out of walnut. And uh, so I guess I'm pretty much just making a handle for this knife, so let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this little tab out of the blade. I'll just use a pair of pliers to twist it out. Now I'll make a cut about an inch and a quarter. This is bigger than it needs to be, but I want to make sure that I have enough material to remove for later. Now I'll use my calipers to measure the thickness of the blade. It's about an eighth inch, which is the same thickness as my table saw blade. Now I'll measure the width of the handle, and divide it in half to find the center. I can now use that measurement to set the fence on the table saw. Next I'll measure in from the edge of the blade, and I'll use that same measurement to set the depth on the table saw. This is a slightly dangerous cut to make, because the blade is going to want to kick the piece back, even if I was using two push sticks, so I'll make a really simple jig. I'll mark the end here, and then I'll bring it over to the bandsaw just to make a small notch. Now I'll bring the piece over so it's flush with the other one. I'll put a couple screws in it just to hold it together. Now I have my simple jig and it only took a few minutes to make. I'll now run it through the table saw. It works like a charm. Testing the knife blade I can see that the cut is just a little bit too tight so I'll move the fence over just a whisker and take another pass. Unfortunately I moved the fence too much and the cut was way too wide so I'll have to start over with a new piece and try again. This time though the knife fits as it should. I'll now measure from the edge of the blade to the hole and mark the wood so I can make an identical hole in the handle. I'll trace the hole and then drill it out. I make sure to drill slowly so that the hole is perfectly plumb. This would be easier with a drill press, although I don't have one. I'm going to be using an old drill bit for the pin, although the bit that I have has a slightly larger diameter than the hole in the knife blade, so I'll take it over to the angle grinder and grind it down until it fits. I'll use a two-part epoxy to hold in the pin. This will adhere better than wood glue. It takes me a few tries to get everything aligned correctly, but eventually I do, and a few taps with a hammer drive the pin right in place. After letting the epoxy set overnight, I'll clamp it to my workbench and cut the excess bit off with an angle grinder. I can now take the knife over to the bench grinder. I'll grind the pin smooth so it's flush with the wood. I'm using my disc sander that I made in last week's video to sand the sides to ensure that it's flat. This will also leave me a nice surface to draw the handle out on. I'll now mark a line down the side. I'll use a small pill bottle to mark the finger indents in the handle. I'll freehand the rest. This takes me a couple tries to get it to something that I'm happy with. I'll cut out the rough shape with the bandsaw. My bandsaw blade is a little too wide to cut the finger indents, so I'll take it over to my scroll saw. Unfortunately, I snapped my last blade. I do, however, have a thinner bandsaw blade, so I'll take the cover off and swap the blade over. I can now rough out the finger indents with the bandsaw. Now that I have the general shape of the handle roughed out, I can begin sanding around it until I get it to a shape that I'm happy with. I quickly realize that it's going to take a lot of sanding to remove the amount of material that I want to, so I go back to the bandsaw to do a little more trimming. And then back to the disc sander. I'm constantly feeling the handle until it fits the shape of my hand. After a lot of sanding, I get it to a point that I'm happy with, and it fits my hand well. I'll now fit a spindle sander bit into my drill. I'll clamp the drill to my workbench and put another clamp on the trigger so that the drill keeps spinning. With this, I can make sure the indents are nice and smooth. For the rest of the knife, I will just hand sand it, starting with 100 grit sandpaper and working up to 220. 
This ensures that the handle will be very smooth. The knife is now complete. I'll apply a few coats of Danish oil for finish. Underneath the blade is a difficult spot to get finish into, so I use a screwdriver behind my rag to work the oil into the groove. Overall, I'm very happy with how this knife came out. I've never made something like this before, so I think it came out pretty well for my first try. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll have a new video up next Tuesday.